How do you invite someone to your Zoom meeting with your iPhone? Hey, it's Arit here from Esatino Media, and on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. Let's get right into it. I have my iPhone here. The first thing you need to do is download the Zoom app. So if you don't already have that, make sure you go to the App Store, type in Zoom into the search, and then Zoom will come up and hit the install button. Now we can go over to the Zoom app and I'm gonna just click on it here. If you're logging in for the first time, you will need to put in your login details. So once you're in here where you can see all of your meetings, this is where you will either start your meeting, so you would click on it if it's already scheduled in Zoom, or you would create a new meeting. So I'm gonna click on the new meeting here Either one, it, it, the instructions would be the same, but you just need to get into a Zoom room or a Zoom meeting in order to send an invitation. So I just hit the start button there. I'm just gonna hit no audio for this. So you see here, it has me showing on screen. What we need to do to invite someone is tap once on the screen so that the menu on the bottom like this shows up. What you're going to do is hit the participants button and then you're going to hit the invite button, which is in the bottom left corner. So you can either send an email, which will connect to the email application that you have on your phone. It will pull up an email in there. You can quickly send one email. The other thing you could do is send a message. And if you choose that, it's going to open a text message for you and it will automatically include a link to your meeting and then you would just choose your contacts to send the text message to. If you click on invite contacts, you will need to select a name from your contacts list and you can actually select multiple names if you're wanting to invite multiple people from your contact list. And then of course there's copy invite link where you can just click on that and it will copy the link directly to your meeting, which you can then go and maybe DM it to someone if you're using it that way, or however you could WhatsApp it to them, however you like to contact them. And that's it, pretty simple, hey? If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button to let YouTube know this is good content to share with others. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, bye.